Hi everyone, I'm Lance Eaton, and this is an introduction to American Literature, Colonial Period to the Civil War, a course that I will be teaching at North Shore Community College in Spring 2014. This video is going to introduce you to the approach that I plan to take in conducting this course, and hopefully will give you a sense of why it would be really great for you to sign up for this course. So, what is this course about? Well, we're very familiar with the introduction or with the description of American literature, right? Students are going to study, discuss, and selected works from the Age of Exploration to the Civil War, right? We're, we're very familiar with that. Uh, the course as I see it, and what's really important about the course, is that it's learning about choice, opportunity, and challenges, right? That is so much at the center of American literature. Up through the present, but in particular during the period that we're looking at, which is from the 1600s to the Civil War. And I've taken that idea and really put it, put it juxtaposed with the ways I want students to be able to choose their own path within this course and determine your own means within the course. So what does this look like? This course focuses and uses what's called the hybrid flexible model. And no, not that hybrid. The hybrid flexible model, no, no, not that hybrid either. Ah, here we go. The hybrid flexible model focuses on giving students the flexibility to choose where their energy and work is best suited for them and the ability for them to move back and forth between an online environment and a face-to-face -face environment. So what this means is that you as the student from the beginning of the course get to choose day by day, week by week, do you want to come to the face-to-face -face classroom or do you want to work online that week, that class, the whole semester? You can one week be in the classroom, the next week be online, or spend the entire semester in the classroom, spend the entire semester online, move back and forth. You get to decide. It is your decision to go with whatever works for you. And that's the flexible part, recognizing that you as a student know best as to what works for you. So you might come into the classroom, decide to be in the face-to-face -face classroom for the first month, and then go online and not come back to the physical classroom, but continue to conduct your work online. So following up on this idea of choice and flexibility, students actually have a wider range of choice within this course. Students will have the ability to choose what readings they write about, what types of essays they write, and what kind of final project they want to complete including them offering up their own particular form of a final project. What else? Students get to select the text they will read throughout the semester. So each week we will have a list of different readings that are related to American literature and the student will get to choose which readings they want. Right? And this is important. I understand that American literature has a lot of dry material in it or at least what feels like dry material. And so I want students to be empowered to really choose and think about what it is they read, not just be told, here, read this. One of the other important things to remember about this course is that there are no textbooks, right? So all of these readings that you will do for this course will be made available to you online. You will not have to purchase any textbooks, which is always a wonderful thing to hear. So what are the course assessments? What are the ways in which you will be evaluated or will have to show competency in this course? Well, we're going to have a course blog, and so there will be regular contributions you need to make to that. There's participation and discussion, and that's going to depend if you're in the physical classroom or the online classroom. There will be 200 word essays, but they are on different subjects of your choosing. And we have a final project, which again will be of your choosing. And there's lots of opportunities for extra credit so that if somewhere along the line you're not where you want to be, you can still get to the, to the work that you believe represents your effort within the course. So it does require work. Um, I don't think it's egregious work or outrageous work. And there's lots of opportunities for you to do better than just your first shot. So what else do you get out of this course? Well, you get to learn about the historical, cultural, and intellectual traditions of American identity and literature. You get to connect those traditions to one another as they relate to American literature. You get to analyze different types of literature, such as essays, poetry, and fiction. 
uh, and you get to improve your ability to critically evaluate and discuss complex ideas. These are all great things to be taking. And what's more, you get the opportunity to be chal challenged intellectually in a safe environment, the, ch the chance to improve your written, spoken, and thinking skills that apply far beyond the course content, right? The things that you do in this class are going to be things you can take with you as you move into not just other courses, but into your professional life. You also have access to a lifelong learner who's both passionate about the subject matter and students learning, that would be me. And you get to be a part of a learning environment that explores and discusses the rich and vibrant traditions of the United States. So that's all there is for this, but I hope this course has given you some thought or this has given you some inspiration to potentially sign up for this course. If you have additional questions, by all means, please contact me via email. And uh, the course to sign up for specifically is right there, um, LIT210, and that's the CRN number and the like. So I hope to see you in class. Thank you very much for watching.